jump. Right here. Or just left jump. Right. This block, this jump, always goes from the 50 V back into the intake manifold and goes right here. The engine always eats its own jump. You know, it's like recycling yeah. the junk again and again and again. That's not good. You want to need air coming in here. Especially now that we're putting hydrogen. I don't want it to be junk. So I'm collecting it in there. There's a filter here. This is the condenser made with uh, glass beads from Giant's Fabrics. That is a filter in the that one, that device including you kind of separate. Yeah, I, I, I used to include it. Now I don't make them, but when I used to, to make the whole package, I, I, I definitely included them. It's very, very cheap. Like $12 or something. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, have, you need many uh, complicated uh, accessories uh, for the computer to do the part. No, I, I use this. Uh, over the wheel. Just oh, the wheel. One, yeah. How does that plug into the system? Where does that end go? It, it goes in here on this line. Okay. Okay, and I, and I took so uh, the lines to, to the cabin. Still, if the vehicle have a map sensor, go to the map sensor. Yeah. If it doesn't have a map, if it's a Bosch system, go to the oxygen sensor. Anytime you have a map sensor, you rather use the map sensor yeah, or absolutely. the oxygen sensor. Absolutely not. Which, which there might, be, might be cases that the oxygen sensor will screw up with, with this and, and eventually um, create a problem. So what I do. When there's like when there's two or three sensors, when this is in, in, in play, what I do with the oxygen sensor, I just unplug it uh -huh. and left it there. You know, I just tied it so it doesn't right, stay right, leave it it along the road. Right, right, right. But I, I just disconnect it. Control the map sensor, control the mixture through, yes, through that with the Yes, now the sensor does the, the computer doesn't see a, an oxygen sensor at all. So this becomes the boss. It's gonna, it's no, gonna no go. No more input. For it's gonna go into a rich mode when there's no. Or if it's, if it went bad, or, or if it's unplugged, it's gonna go into like a partial rich mode. It could, it could, but now yeah. I can control it back to exactly where I want it. Exactly. There's no other thing in the formula. The, the computer only sees this in the formula, and that's it. Okay. And the way you tune this, you do it through testing, yeah. or do you do you do it through through acceleration of the engine? When, when you do it by feeling. By feel, right? By yeah, feel. And, and you'll know city and cold morning. And you, you'll play with it a few, a few times, and then highway. And what you, you know, notice is the acceleration of the vehicle becomes smoother when this is tuned properly. Smooth but slow on the highway. You know, you just want to cruise, cruise. And, and if you want to accelerate and stuff, you just do this. So after three, four days of playing with the new toy, yeah, you, you just do this. You and become that, a nature. <laughs> hey, as why, why you consider the uh, Jetta? the uh, Volkswagen because I wanted a turbo diesel, turbo diesel. that is really sturdy and, and you know it's, it's so something I can rely on and also it, no no it, I'm sorry, it started with something else started with something else this Italian guy uh, Giorgio Rossi right, right. He, he wrote back from Italy I didn't even know about it he says I have a Jetta another Jetta a Bora right, a blue one yeah the, the, he has a Bora 1.9 TDI okay, it's Bora. exactly like the, the Jetta just a different name okay he took one bottle, connected it there, got 77%. I said, Papa, I need to get a jet one day. <laughs> you know? Bravo.